Let's take a look at some of the smart features Kpipe has to offer. In this video, I will cover Kpipe's easy navigation, display and layout settings, quick modeling, shortcuts, creating quick comments, and viewing input and results in different units. Here's the situation. It's the end of the day, and I'm about to shut off my computer. I get an urgent call from my project manager requesting a few changes to the current model I'm working on. Furthermore, I need to analyze my model and send the results to our designer in Canada. I open Kpipe and click on the last model saved button right from the main interface. Kpipe automatically remembers the area I was working on in the graphics and layout windows. Kpipe has a lot of smart shortcuts. This allows me to navigate through my model quickly. I can also see the instant synchronization of my cursor as it travels through both windows simultaneously. So, I need a limit stop at node 351. Kpipe's autofill feature allows me to simply begin typing the first letter of this limit stop and fills in the rest automatically and immediately opens a window asking for the specific parameters. Default parameters are good in this case. And there you can see my limit stop. The second change I need to make here is to extend the bend at node 417 from 3 feet to 6 feet 6 inches. Here Kpipe has the smart feature of allowing you to simply type in 6.5. I would also like to add a quick comment here underneath my node to document who authorized the change and maybe give it a timestamp. All I have to do is hit Control Insert, C, and the line turns into a comment field. So I type node 351 limit stop per project manager. And I give it a date. Now I need to analyze my model and send the results to my support designer. But first, I want to save this as Big Model 1. Analyze. Now we open the support load results. Since my support designer is in Canada, I want to change my units from all English to all SI. So we go under Options, Units, All SI, click OK, and there we go. Now, we want to save this as a spreadsheet, so I click on Print to File, Results, Support Loads, uh, actually Support Load Summary, to File, and I save it as a CSV file. Now before I send it to my support designer, I want to double check my results file. So let's open up our saved CSV file. There's my support load summary. Everything looks good. I'm good to go. And there you go. Using Kpipe's smart features, I was able to focus my energy on the problem at hand with little interference from the software itself.